Happy Tuesday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about something that's very important. What to do about mistakes. Have you ever made a mistake? A very costly, terrible, awful mistake? What to do? What to do? This is an amazing, amazing thing. This works. Say this with me on this happy day. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Good things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. Huh? I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor because Pastor Jim gets results. You need results? We're all about results. I get results. And I'm available. I'm probably the only person in the country who can get your prayers answered, get you healed, find you a job, get your keys when you lose your keys, find your wallet or your purse. Whatever it is you need, we can make it happen through the power in the name of Jesus. It's amazing. God said, is anything too hard for God? Jesus said, all things are possible. There's no impossibilities. Call me today if there's anything you need. Healing. We got people healed off their deathbeds during this pandemic thing. We just, it was just amazing some of the miracles that happened. Glory to God. It's, it's just, it's incredible what God does through us for people. Amen. That's what makes me the ultimate pastor. And I'm here. I'm always, if you're a, if you partner, if you're one of our prayer partners, and if we have a lot of prayer partners, I'm always here for you. People call me all day long. Praise God, huh? Call me today if you need prayer. Call me today if you do your offerings and donations and if you did them yesterday. A lot of you did them yesterday. Some of you called yesterday because Yesterday was Labor Day, so some of you didn't call because they thought I was taking a day off. I don't take a day off. I haven't had a day off in years. I am always here for you. Amen? I don't want a day off. I don't need a day off. Amen? I love to pray with God's people. So, glory to God. Huh? Hey, what to and share this video, please. Share this video. Hit the invite button on Facebook. Invite all your friends to our group. And if you're watching this on YouTube, send everybody you know in your uh, contact list to send them a text message and say, check out these videos. Go to YouTube and type in Pastor Jim Kibler in the box. They'll see all my videos. Glory to God. What do you do when you make a mistake? Mistakes can be small, they can be serious, or they can be life-changing. God can straighten out a mistake. I mean to tell you folks, he can, he can straighten out a mistake. People make small mistakes, little mistakes. People make horrific mistakes. I made a mistake. Uh, it's been a couple years ago. Maybe not even that long. I was doing something with one of the sites, one of the software packages that I use. And I don't know what I did, but it deleted. I, it's, like, it's like you hit a thing and it all went away. Gone. Huh? 
it was just, and when, when you do something like that, your heart sinks. And I went, and I tried and tried and tried to get it back. No, gone, gone, gone. Finally, I said, Lord, I made a terrible mistake. Please help me. And I'm telling you what, folks, in five minutes, it reappeared. Don't ask me what I did to make it happen. It just, I give all the glory to God. I give him all the credit for that. It just reappeared. Now that's a mistake. That's not life-changing, but it was very important. It wasn't life-changing. We, years, a few years ago, we were at this in his big, beautiful church. And a lady from the church called me. And she says, Pastor Jim, she says, I found something. Now, these were very well-to-do people. She said, I found something that I think would look very nice in the church on one of the huge walls. She says, is it okay if I buy that for the church? She says, it's on sale. I can't return it. It's a, it's a clearance deal. This store just wants it to go. And I said, sure, go ahead. The only problem was I didn't take the time to see if it would fit. And it wouldn't. And this woman spent thousands of dollars for it. Huh? Not a life-changing mistake, but huge. I went, oh. It's like, you know you're going to be so embarrassed you know you got a huge embarrassment coming up. That was, oh my goodness. I just, it's like you just cringe with a mistake like that. And I was so upset. And finally I said, Lord, I'm so sorry. I made a terrible mistake. Please help me. And this Peace came over me. And I went and laid down and slept for two hours. Now, I always take a nap in the afternoon anyway. Everybody knows that because I start between four and five o'clock in the morning and I'm up to 11 or 12 at night. So I rest a little bit in the afternoon. Well, I went and laid down and I slept for two hours like a baby. I got up. Just as I got up, the phone rang. It was her. She said, Pastor Jim, she said, the store where I bought that just called and they have a customer who will pay them full price if I bring it back. Should I take it back? I said, oh yeah. Take it back. She took it back. Got her every penny back that she had spent on it. The store got their full price for it, not a sale price, but they got their full price for it and everybody was happy. And I was off the hook. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's the power of God who worked that out. A customer who had looked at it weeks before came into the store and said, do you still have that? And the store said, no, I sold it to somebody. It was on sale. The guy says, I'll pay you a full price for it. The guy says, well, I'm sorry, but we sold it. He says, I can call the customer and ask if they'll bring it back. And the guy said, please do. We got to have it. And it all worked out. Huh? Glory to God. 
made your mistake. Have you made a mistake? There are people out there who have made horrendous mistakes regarding finances, regarding your health, regarding all kinds of things. Sometimes people have made mistakes about smoking and spent years smoking. Let me tell you something, folks. God can heal those lungs. He can fix that mistake. People have made mistakes in relationships. God can fix that relationship for you. Amen. There's nothing impossible with God. I made a mistake. We bought a restaurant. I had a great restaurant business, but it, financially we did not do well. The curse of the law was working in our lives back in those days. We lost over $100,000. We didn't have that kind of money to lose. Our house had gone up in value, so we refinanced it, and we had that money, so we spent it in a restaurant, and by the time we were out, in and out of that restaurant in a year and a half, and had a great time and a great experience, and, and oh my goodness, we lost $100,000. At the end of that, I said, Lord, I made a terrible mistake with that restaurant. Please restore what I lost. And he did. I got it all back. The whole thing. Actually, I've gotten back every penny everybody ever stole from me. Everything I've ever lost. Everything that I've ever been deceived out of. I got it back. I made a terrible mistake one time and trusted the wrong person and they stole our church building. A beautiful church. They stole it. Finagled it. Deceived me. Worked around behind my back and got our church building away from us. Away from our whole church. I said, Lord, I want my church back. Well, I didn't get that one back, but I got one just as nice. And now we're in a beautiful church, beautiful location. God restored me. He'll restore you from any mistake. If you've made a mistake, you call me. I'll speak over that mistake. God will avenge us of our adversary. Your mistake, let me tell you something about your mistake. It was not your fault. You were deceived by the deceiver. Remember what Jesus said? And uh, what is it? Matthew chapter 18? I think it's Matthew or, or Luke 18. I'm not, Luke might be Luke 18. He says, of the story of the unjust judge, he said, God will avenge. His people. That means give it back to you. The lady says, avenge me of my adversary. The judge did. And God will avenge you. You call me. I'll pray that with you. We'll get it back for you. Because there's nothing impossible with God. Make sure you call me today if you need prayer. Share this video, please, with anybody who has ever lost anything. We'll get it back for them through the power in the name of Jesus. And remember, God's mercy is new every morning, folks. There is no mistake you could have ever made that God won't straighten things out. There's consequences many times. And sometimes we have to live with those consequences. But God will straighten it out for you. You call me. I'm determined that you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen for you.